of your life, your vote 2011. I'm Stephen LaDrew. Well, according to the 2006 census, the South Asian community is one of the top five visible minority groups in Toronto. They account for 12% of the population. Here with me now representing the South Asian community is G.A. Ishwar. He's the publisher of Daisy News. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Stephen. What are you hearing? You're a journalist. You're in the business. What are you hearing in the Southeast Asian community? The South Asian community is confused. They don't know which way they want to go. Uh, I think there is a lot. When you say they will go as a block, sorry for interrupting. When you say that, it's a good question. Uh, you know, there was a time when the liberals were considered to be the the natural party of choice for the South Asian community. Right. Uh, but lately, that uh, that theory has been turned upside down. Uh, it's no more. The liberals are not necessarily the top choice. South Asian community are basically socially very, very conservative. And lately, uh, Jason Kenney's visits to many of the South Asian writings seems to have made a bit of a difference. And people are thinking, uh, who are we going to vote? Well, uh, so, but it's not what you're saying, though. It sounds to me like it may be a maturing of the community that I won't vote in block after... Uh, that a absolutely. It's a, it's a maturing of the community, and it is... It, 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 South Asians are, in Canada are just like anybody else. Yes. The issues they face are about jobs, the stability, and they look for strong leadership in their politicians. And those are the issues that, that really count. And uh, it is not like they're ethnic voters and therefore they vote with a different mindset. Uh, they vote just like everyone else in Canada. But just that, it was. Well, there was a time when John Kachin was a Prime Minister and Paul Martin was a very strong Finance Minister. There was a time at that time when South Asians tended to vote Liberal. That's probably because the holdover from the uh, Trudeau era. Mm -hmm. But now the things are changing. Uh, people are looking at Conservatives very seriously. And therefore, I think because of that, there are going to be some writings which are going to be in play. Ishwar, you, talk, you said that the, the economy is one of the big issues? In that community? Economy is definitely one of the big issues in the community, but I don't think, uh, what I, the sense that I'm hearing from the community is that I don't think they're hearing enough of economy from the politicians. Uh, they're not hearing something that would inspire confidence. For instance, uh, uh, the, the Liberals, for instance, uh, Ignatiev, uh, uh, they, they released a platform and they had $8.2 billion uh, uh, worth of family pack uh, thrown at the voters. But they looked at it and then say, where is the money going to come from? And uh, well, that's fiscal conservative. Absolutely, they are. They are absolutely. They, they, they have come to. They have left. Uh, you know, we have left. You know, uh, mm -hmm. our, our home and come to Canada. I've made a home here, and we want to be sure that uh, the our money is safe. Our money is growing. Many of us are businessmen, small businessmen, you know, uh, corporate leaders, and we want to be sure that the uh, the there's a fiscal. Uh, responsibility in, in the leadership. So that would lead one to think that uh, it's going to the conservative vote. A lot, a lot of people would vote for the conservative party because of the strong economic showing over the last two or three years. But you also mention Jason Kenney. And let's just get into the politics of it. Jason Kennedy is no secret to anybody. We're working very, very hard to, to, uh, to get the, uh, quote, ethnic vote. Yes, you see, the thing is, uh, it is not as clear it is that. Of course, he has made more than 300 visits to some of the key writings uh, uh, in, in the past few years, and he has made he has made himself available at all community events uh, to come and to speak to the community. He's a busy man. But that said, but that said, uh, on the while that's on the one, one hand, on the other hand, the conservatives have been cutting uh, services to, to newcomers, to, to, to immigrants. The Im so. The South Asians are thinking, okay, that seems to be a good, strong uh, possibility for, for, for casting our votes, but at the same time, they are talking uh, from two sides of their mouth. It seems to be that they're saying one thing but doing something else. So that is not a uh, very inspiring thing. It's not a guarantee. Also, with, with the Muslim community, which is, which is a part of the South Asian yes. community, is that uh, the Harper government's strong support for, unequivocal support for Israel, uh, that hasn't played too well. And uh, so, you know, the, the strong support for all thing, is, things Israel is sometimes interpreted as not necessarily very Muslim friendly. So some, some of those things will also come into play uh, when, when the votes are crossed. Ishwar, are the liberals taking advantage of the, of the weaknesses that you're just outlining? Unfortunately not. Uh, Why? Are they bad politicians? Uh, the, the thing is that uh, the, the leadership doesn't seem to be that strong. 
they they put forward a very family friendly platform, but the family friendly platform map doesn't add up. And they want to, and also the liberal brand seems to be uh, does not seems to be is singing from the same songbook. For instance, uh, they want to get the uh, uh, the money for the 8.2 billion dollars uh, from corporate. Uh, uh, in increasing corporate tax, yeah. but at the same time, the liberal brand provincially has been consistently been cutting the corporate tax. So, you look at the liberal brand; it is one party, provincially, federally. But where is this going? I mean, is 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 that? Uh, yeah. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to ask me the question? That's fair. But you know what? The, the two parties have never been uh, on the same uh, on the same wavelength as far as that's concerned. I just uh, I want to I want you to stay with us, but I just want to see whether Farah is uh, is ready and she's not ready because she's at the web desk and she's got some good stuff to tell us though. And if I just dance for one more second, Ishwar, she'll be back at the desk. Farah, what are you hearing at the web desk? I'm back. Actually, you know what? I, I wanted to show you a tweet. Give me one second as I get it ready. Here we go. Okay. Now, this is, uh, you guys were talking about um, the Brampton vote, and, and your guest mentioned Jason Kenney, and I found this. This was interesting. It was uh, talking here. It says, this is somebody in Calgary saying, hey, in Calgary Southeast is at uh, Kenny Jason. Even on the ballot there, looks like he's running in Brampton and Mississauga exclusively. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was kind of interesting, uh, trying to get that South Asian vote. Um, we also saw from a few days ago people talking about how, um, you know, the, the Indian cricket team was congratulated and some are saying, well, you think just by congratulating the Indian cricket team, you're going to get uh, the South Asian vote. But I wanted to also uh, mention the tweet from Elizabeth May here that so many people have been retweeting. You remember she has been excluded from the uh, debate. She went to the federal court to try to get that changed, uh, but she today said when the decision came down that the federal court will not be looking into this, uh, that she will not be included in the debate. She said, justice denied. Consortium says there's no time to change format. Is this about democracy or convenience? So we've seen a lot of uh, retweets about that and a lot of people on Twitter uh, questioning uh, the, the Broadcast Consortium's decision and the federal court's decision as well, Stephen. Thank you very much, Farah. Well, Ishwar, let's just talk about what Farah was telling for a second about the Elizabeth May and the Green Party. Is it in, in, in your community, to your, and you're a journalist, so you're talking to people all the time, is it really between the Liberals and the Conservatives, or are there some members who are looking at the NDP or the Greens? The, the NDP, for some reason, this time seems to be not uh, having enough too much traction. Uh, it seems to be between, to me, uh, from what I hear, it is not, it's a very unscientific observation mm -hmm. when you meet, talk to people. It seems to be between the, con uh, the, the conservatives and the liberals. But uh, also it is felt that uh, Ignatius uh, is not as strong and as convincing as he could be. And that, uh, uh, but then, but then you have to admit, incumbency, incumbency can be a very powerful tool. And therefore, uh, the party that's in power has got, has got lots more attention in the media before coming into the polls. So, uh, that could be a factor. And, uh, uh, you know, a week they say is uh, an eternity in politics, and we've got uh, many weeks to go. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, you're absolutely right. A week of politics is an eternity, and we've got uh, four to go. Ishwar, thanks very much for uh, for sharing your observations with me. Thanks Thank for coming you. In. Thanks for having me. Okay, we're going to uh, take a break. When we come back, we're going to be asking how well the leaders are doing with their campaigns. And we have a really, really, really smart guy, Robin Sears, who's been through a lot of campaigns. He's going to be telling us, in his view, what has to be done in the next few weeks. Stay with us. Thank you.